this is one of those things where during the day I'm watching hockey game after game, of course, St. Louis. Yes, there's a St. Louis video coming. Blues fans, don't worry about it. But the Barry Trotz effect gets posted on NBC and they show the Islanders record with Tavares and the Islanders record without Tavares. And they show how the record's improved. Rob Shrimp, right underneath, posts, the ultimate I did my job kind of superstar. He wins when he goes to play for his country as they are loaded with players mostly equal or better. Other than that, he just collects his points, capitalized, and his awards, capitalized. Now, I don't know of any awards he's won in the NHL. Uh, did he Did he win, Calder? Anyways, um, then, there's, then there's posts underneath. Of course, fans are awful, right? That's his jersey from the Austrian League. Uh, this kid, or this guy posts a response of failed NHL career out of the league before the age of 25. Was it fun while wearing an Austrian billboard? Rob Shrimp himself answered that. It was awesome. Have you ever seen the Australian, the Austrian mountains? So sick, man. Um, and then somebody answered him with search your pro career. Nothing showed up. Um, so let's get back to the main post here. Uh, cause there's other ones too. Uh, somebody answered, and again, it's it's Leaf, Leaf fans are going to be the ones arguing this, right? Uh, yes, he should have managed and coached the team as well. Maybe if he had a good teammate uh, during his time in Long Island, winning would have been a possibility. There, there were decent teams in the Islanders. They did make the playoffs while he was there. Not every year, of course, but they did make the playoffs while he was there. Uh, and then the answer was, you do realize the Islanders are doing this basically the same team as last year, plus some rookies, right? Filipola, Komarov, and Leonard are the only major contributors that are different. And then Rob Shrimp himself answers, Barzell's comments, the thing that's different this year is everyone's treated the same. And he's got the shrugging emoji. I'm not making this stuff up. I know I'm a, bu I'm a bust, and I'm okay with that. My comments on that exact photo today was my opinion, and it seems some people... They watched his career agree. Um, and then they talk about whether or not he's a bust. And about Rob Shrimp and all this other stuff. And uh, it's it's funny because we can look at Rob Shrimp and go, well, his skating held him back at the NHL level in his defense. And I remember Robbie Shrimp coming up. Uh, there was a lot of excitement about him uh, as an NHLer. Um, when he broke in, it was obvious there was something missing. And then, you know, it just... It just never came back. Um, and here's one. LOL. OHL superstar Rob Shrimp taking shots at someone with an actual NHL career. Uh, and then here's one, another, one too. Dude, I knew we loved you for a reason when you wore the Isles orange and blue. And it wasn't just for those fancy stick tricks you were able to do. Um, and then what awards he has none. Rob Shrimp from the top ropes, ready for the pl ready the platoons. Not wrong at all, great player, but not a team player. Every time he opens his mouth, it's me, me, me. Also, he has no awards. He doesn't have any awards. You're always better at shootouts than Pajama Boy, silkiest mitts I've ever seen. So, you know, it's it's funny because people will will take shots like this one's under an account named Dave Keon. It's not Dave Keon. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it's not Davey Keon. Not the same David Keon, anyways. Uh, Rob Shrimp, million dollar hands with a 10 cent work ethic coming out. You're a plug, Shrimp. Top 100 wasted talent players to ever lace it up in the NHL. LOL, and then somebody responded to that with LOL, milk bag soft. That's the most Canadian insult ever. I, I, I find the whole thing weird, you know. Here's, here's a guy who played in the National Hockey League, and he, he did not end up living up to his advanced billing, but he played in the National Hockey League. He scored goals at an NHL level. And then he went over to Europe, made some money, and had an adventure for himself. And then, yeah, he was able to to retire in his mid-20s with more money than most of us will make in a lifetime. So, I I, I don't know. I, I don't think that... It's, it's so weird. Like, I, I can't imagine a situation where you'd see somebody out in public and talk to them that way. Like, do people walk up to Rob Shrimp and talk to him that way? Like, this jersey I'm wearing now, it's a, it's my Tavares, of course, as far as Islanders. It's the only Adidas Islanders I have. I was going to get the third, and then it all sold out. Uh, so I'm, I'm waiting for either new ones to come in or just, you know, give myself a kick in the 
backside for it because I didn't think it was going to sell out. But because I was like, all right, I need a new one for Islander fans because you're not going to be happy with the Tavares. But today I can wear it because it's it's it matters. Like if Rob Shrimp comes out and says, look, I played with this guy and he's all about himself. If we didn't, it, it's his opinion. He has the right to it. Shrimp, I always heard about um, his his skating and certain parts of his game where there was a deficiency that kept him from the NHL. But I never heard anything about him being a, a jerk or, or a, 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 a disturber of the locker room. I never heard any of that. And, it, and it's stunning to me when fans talk to a player like that. It's sort of like when people ask me, well, what would you do if you ran into Ryan Kessler? I'd say hi, like I'd just talk to him. Like, no, I, I'm not a fan of his game. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of things to do with Ryan Kessler. But you know what? I ran into him, I talked to him because I I that's what you do. I I find it so weird cuz these are all people that that online will bash somebody. Yeah, here's another one. Uh imagine being drafted in the first round then putting up a mass of 50 points over 5 seasons before flaming out. Then having the audacity to throw shade at a Canadian icon. That's a bit far. Uh Tavares is a great player. Canadian icon that's you you might you might be yeah it's a little bit of a stretch with that uh, perhaps you should have been more concerned about your points too Robbie what is that what like <laughs> some of these some of these responses genuinely make my brain go wait what yeah yeah massive 50 points yeah yeah he put up 50 points at the NHL level which is 50 more than anybody responding to him put up None of these people are, are former NHLers going, hey, you should keep your mouth shut. I think the fact that, and, and maybe it's in here and I haven't seen it, but the fact that none of the guys who've responded to this, yeah, I still, I don't see any of these guys responding to it, uh, actually are former teammates of, of Tavares. So I don't see anybody on the Islanders coming to his defense either. Now, for me, the Islanders' turnaround is Lamorello knew how to, how to make the team work. And he brought in the right coach to do it, and everything's working. I have said in videos, if Tavares was still with the Islanders, I don't know that they would be in this position. I don't know that they would necessarily be first in their division. I and I don't know how well Trotz would have got along with Tavares. I have no way of knowing that. There's just there there's there's no way to have that information. What Rob Shrimp is telling us is the Islanders are where they are in part because they got rid of Tavares. And Islander fans, for the most part, seem to agree. And it, there's a lot of Leaf fans coming in, a lot of just anti-Rob Rob Shrimp people coming in as well. Because this has now been posted on The Score and been posted on TSN. So it's gone crazy. Um, and, and it's, you know, it's it's so weird to me. It is so, so weird to me that people want to come in and, and, and talk all over him. Um, like, here's one. Uh, maybe if I trash an NHL superstar, the league will give me another look. Enjoy the 15 minutes. He's retired. He retired last November. He's not looking for... Yeah, yeah, that'll work. I'm going to trash one of the, the, the better players in the league. And and that'll get me a job. I... I Yeah, I don't, I don't know what... I don't... Uh, maybe if he'd focused on his own game, he could have been a skilled player. Please find another way of getting traffic to your page. Just saying. I, it's not a page. It's a, it's Twitter. It's not a page. It's a Twitter profile. Um, and then there's Lee's fans saying he's doing really, really well. Um, it's absolutely hilarious how all Islander fans are bashing JT now that he's gone. Why no mention of his selfishness when he was playing for Long Island? Both parties benefited from the move. Tavares on pace for a career high. And Islanders are thriving, so why so salty? It's not salty. So I'm going to go back to the initial tweet here where it's the Barry Trotz effect. And all Shrimp says is that Tavares was the ultimate I did my job kind of guy. I mean, he goes out on the ice, he does his job. And and what I read from this is he's not a glue guy. He's not he's not really a a, a leader and I know this has a captaincy on it, right? So if if he's more of a uh, to himself and his stats and his job thing, Shrimp would know that better than any of us. And, and it, I get it. It's sort of like when people say, well, this guy's clearly the MVP of this team because he's got more points. And, and as a fan, just watching, I go, well, yeah, but more points doesn't necessarily mean 
You're the most valuable player to that team. You're not necessarily the glue that holds that together. You're not necessarily the guy they rally around. You can be, but that's not necessarily the case. That's all Shrimp's kind of saying here is, he's not really the kind of guy that the Islanders rallied around. He did a lot. He helped them get to the playoffs on occasion. And he's not... Now, the funny thing is, you know, you look at that lineup in Toronto. That lineup in Toronto, uh, they, they finished third in the Atlantic last year without him. They've got him this year. And right now, as I record this, they're third in the Atlantic. So, yeah, he's put up 33 goals. He's on pace for all these career highs. But he's also got better line mates in Toronto than what he had with the Islanders. And it's a totally different system. So, again, for me, what Rob, Rob Shrimp says here, I don't have a problem with it. Because, again, you know, here's a guy who played with him for a couple seasons. He saw what he saw. And he's just sharing with the rest of rest of us what he saw. Do I think he does? Do I think he should censor himself? No, he's not in the league anymore. That's the funny thing is people are like, oh, you just want attention from the league. Actually, this is a career killer if he's in the league and he starts trash talking other players. You can't trash talk somebody till you're on way out of the door. It's sort of like politics. Politicians won't tell you the truth until they're ready to retire. At that point, you're like, well, I'm not getting reelected, so here's the truth, and it's usually completely different. Hockey players, not entirely different in that way. I, I think there are players who we perceive to be these great star players that we'll find out after they retired, oh, he was actually a jerk. Oh, okay, he was actually really unpopular. He did what? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Didn't know that. So, yeah, we'll we'll see what we'll see where this this ends up. Um, for for Rob Shrimp, honestly, uh, he had a good career as as a journeyman. Yeah, he never lived up to that advanced billing, but he had he had quite the career. And like he says in here, yeah, I got to, got to see the Austrian mountains. I got to play in that was great. Yeah, I I what argument am I going to make against him on that one? Um, he he played a number of years in the NHL and he made a lot of money playing hockey. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Of course, this means Islander and, and Leaf fans will chime in. Um. I will link to the tweet in the description for this video so you guys can look through the comments for yourselves. And uh, it, it is interesting because, again, to me what's really interesting is how hockey fans will say things on here they would never say to Rob Shrimp face-to-face. -face. There's, there's just no way. And I, I don't understand the point of that. Um, that you, you – because, you know, when I'm on Twitter, I, I don't – I don't make statements like that. Just not, not a thing. It's just not a thing. Now – the NHL's original original post. I'm just going to take a quick look at this. Um, Barry Trotz effect. Da, 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 da. Twelve point improvement. Plan the parade. See, and then there's all these people who are going to put down the Islanders on the original post. I mean, the Leafs are one point ahead right now, and you guys have been planning your parade since July. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny that the Leafs are one point ahead, and they're yeah, and and there are. Definitely fans that say, yeah, um, will be funny when Leafs get eliminated early while the Islanders, Islanders are cru cruising. Good luck. Maybe the Islanders will finally get that second playoff series win since 1993. Only one series win since then. That's got to suck. <laughs> the last time you all were in the cup final color TV wasn't invented. Oh, man. It, yeah, so, you know, if we talked in real life like we do on Twitter... There'd be endless fighting all the time in the streets. I'd be interested to know, though, what do you guys think? Browse, browse through at, at you know, at, at your, at your, 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 your leisure and, and beware of, of just some awful things people say online. Like, just, you're a bust. What? Okay. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Yes, I know St. Louis fans. I know. I'm wasting time right now. I could be spending making up a board for the 10 game. I, I know. I know. I'll get on it.